Is this the real deal? Hi there, friends. Welcome. Is this it? Is this the real deal? As in, is the attack on Israel the real deal? Well, I'll get into that. We'll talk about what's going on with the astrology this week. I'll give you an energy check for the week. We'll take a look at Bitcoin charts and crypto charts and give you a heads up on what is going on with that cycle because as the rockets were being fired, uh, Bitcoin was going down. You know, those investors <laughs> with all the money, they tend to know what's happening on the world stage. But um, I'm going to give you a heads up too on what's actually going on. So. You know, welcome, hello, welcome. Uh, my background is different, I'm traveling again, so <laughs> here we are. Okay, so let's dive into it. Is this the real deal with the, uh, you know, the rockets and the attack? Well, this is the beginning of the real deal, yes. I've been telling you guys for a long time that the total solar eclipse is a trigger point, which that thing wasn't, what happened on on April 8th was not what we were told it was. I went into it for members uh, in the call a few days ago. It's completely different than what we've been told. Some of this is stuff I just can't say out here, but make sure you join my free Telegram group. The link is in the description box below. So you can, I mean, I talk about lots of stuff I can't talk about here in Telegram, right? But the price prediction, specific movements, what's gonna happen with Bitcoin, price predictions for cryptos, like the $4,000 Ethereum target that I gave members, which Ethereum ha ha has hit and made a major pullback, like, Bitcoin at 74K, which Bitcoin hit, and now we're in some sort of a other pattern, right? We've come down from there quite a bit. So those were specific targets that members got, right? Well in advance, well in advance, month in advance, months and months in advance, back in 2023, you know, I had these targets. I actually had the $74,000 target in 2019, and some of my members got it then. So be aware that I'm way in advance. Sometimes I get to the the story way early. I mean, I almost always do way ahead of everyone before any technical analysis could even like conceive of it because it's way beyond their, you know, whatever. So anyway, this Iran thing is the beginning of the real deal. So be aware that we are definitely headed into very, very interesting times in 2024 will continue to be a really crazy year with a lot of really big things happening and we've also seen gold and silver really take off and I'll, I'll pop over and look at the gold silver you know just some info on it real quick so make sure you stay to the end there's a lot of stuff I'm going to cover but yes I do believe that these uh, this attack is the real deal and I have been expecting this for a couple of years right longer than that so I, mean, I may not talk about it on every member call but I've been talking about it for years and years so Yes, we are headed towards a much bigger war. Yes, we are headed towards the real thing, which isn't going to be good for us, but we aren't necessarily going to have to participate. But we're all going to have to make some choices around how we participate with this system and with its ongoing chaos uh, in the coming years. And this is obviously quite a big issue. Uh, but it is setting things off and it's setting off major changes. And as I told you guys about the eclipse in the previous few videos I've done, how it is a, and it wasn't what we said, we were told it was, but it was a, it was a pivotal turning point. There's actually a spiritual turning point that happened. So the energy of karma is shifting. So people have put out a lot of bad karma, done mean things to people, vicious, brutal things to other people. It's starting to come back to them. People who are stealing from people, people who don't contribute to the world, people who aren't living from their heart center, people who are living from take and use instead of contribute, you know, service to self as opposed to service to others, which I think is kind of a too minimal way of putting it but those people the people who consume who are bottomless pits of consumption and you know gimme 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 that karma is coming back to them and they're going to be like trying to get and everything they're trying to get is going to fall apart so they're going to end up it's like a, an addict who can't get enough can't get their fix right they're just going to be screaming for more and more and then people who actually are connected to source and have something to give and are loving, kind, benevolent people, everything is coming back because this is an energetic shift on a spiritual level. However, there's also a lot of practical stuff going along with it. So let's take a look at the energy check astrologically for the week. So here we go. Okay, so this week is kind of interesting because we have Venus and Mercury and Chiron all 
joining up, touching the North Node. Mercury is retrograding over the North Node, so going over it again. So lots of stuff from the past, lots of stuff about our destiny, our purpose, our meaning in life is coming to the surface. Also stuff to, related to soul family people that we can actually really connect with on the larger picture for the longer term, right? People that are on our same wavelength. A lot of that is is crystallizing right now and we're getting light bulb moments and things showing up that help us to move towards that sort of soul purpose destiny type of energy now all of this is in Aries which is ruled by Mars which was conjunct Saturn last week I talked about it so it was a bit of restriction some hard work some really having to push to get through something and getting through it right we're through that now Whew, okay whoo ha ah, that was intense now we're over it now we're moving on to the energy of community, connection, family, you know, those kinds of dynamics, B new beginnings, really dynamic, strong new beginnings. So that is the energy, really the signature for the week. Jupiter and Uranus on the midheaven in Taurus, lots and lots of freaking news about big things like this. Gold and silver. Oh my God. Look at that. Gold is over it's almost $2,400 an ounce, $2,362 as of this recording. And silver is almost at $29, $28.67. That is wild and good, but nothing. You ain't seen nothing yet, baby. B -b 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 baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. So it's coming. The real deal is really coming. The silver stuff, the silver and gold is starting to move. That does not mean we cannot get a giant drop first. And I actually do expect there will be some kind of a big drop at some point on gold and silver, right? So um, this is this is great and exciting for us, but we, we ain't seen nothing yet. And there's gonna be a lot of really big moves happening for the rest of this year in both directions, down and up. So it's going to be exceedingly volatile as is pretty much everything else. So like I said, big news, but the Jupiter Uranus isn't necessarily about gold and silver. I'm just saying breakthrough news that may end up affecting the gold, silver market, the financial markets, because it's all in Taurus, which is all about the dollars and the money supply and the fiat currencies and the value and the things of value and our values. And all of those things are being highlighted this week with that Jupiter Uranus conjunction, which is right smack dab on the mid, mid heaven as of this chart, which by the way, I do kind of, when I do the weekly charts, I do it like a, what we would call a horary chart, which is the moment that the question is asked, you look at the stars for the answer and it kind of gives you the answer. So for me, the question is, what's the energy of this week, right? So what we're seeing this week is going to be something that breaks through in the news. And these are famous, huge, massive news stories. These are like stories of the century, news of the century. That's the kind of thing that we're going to be uh, feeling and hearing uh, this week over the next few days so just get prepared for that right get prepared well by the way you know the bombing is a story of the century but that's not even the beginning of, of it there's just so much more coming and also this pluto alignment with uranus i mean sorry neptune the pluto and neptune sextile here is helping to push the prices of precious metals up and that's going to continue and also to change things on the financial level so we're seeing massive changes we just can't necessarily a lot of people can't see what's actually happening. There are some people that have some kind, like there's a piece of information. One person has a little tiny piece, another person has a little tiny piece. It's hard to piece the puzzle together. But overall, just know, of course, you want to have precious metals. Of course, you want to have the good cryptos. You're going to have to be able to deal with a lot of volatility in these markets. But of course, that's how you get paid. That's how you win, is by knowing and by being prepared. Mars has left its stress uh, with Saturn and it's moving towards Neptune. What that means is that I expect in about a week, mm, something's happening that's, uh, well, more aggression, more warlike events, but also whatever's happening in like warlike kind of, you know, events is going to cause people to run out and try and go and buy a gold and silver. So I expect, even though it's moving up pretty steadily right now, I expect it to absolutely take off in about a week. We're going to see some bigger moves, but that's a short move. It's not going to be like, a, but it will be a big pump, a big push on gold and silver, mostly gold, but silver too, because just the way the markets work and the way the manipulation is. That's 
pretty much it for this week. I've pretty much covered all of it. Chiron is, well, the sun has crossed Chiron. We are, we're in a period of time where what we're dealing with is eclipse events. Okay, so it, like I said many times in my previous videos, the, that thing on April 8th, was a kickoff event. It was a transitional thing. It was kicking off the events that are now happening. Unlike most eclipses, this one was quite different in its nature and character. Every eclipse is different. Every eclipse has its own personality. This one had a personality that's all about war. <laughs> and of course, the one that's coming up, the, to the pair, they come in pairs. The pair that's coming up in the fall also has a lot to do with war. So we are there. And it might take until fall, until full-blown like world level announcements like this are made but if you look in history of course the beginnings of these things like world war one world war two they started with a small event and then there was another big event and then another country got involved and a bunch of and then suddenly it was a world thing so that's kind of where we're at and that's where we've been building for the last few years with the ukraine situation with russia with you know, the tension with Taiwan, which of course is going to get attacked by China. China wants tai Taiwan. Tai Taiwan is a prime territory, right? And the U.S. and our chip manufacturing has to come back. We're going to have to remanufacture chips. There's no way around it. So, you know, microchips. So not, not potato chips. We don't need those. But, well, we like them. But so the thing is, that's where we're at, right? That's where things are going. And, um, you know, gold and silver, of course, are for times of crisis and those times are absolutely ascent they're basically here but it's a little bit like you got the notice what are you gonna do about it right you got the it's it's not the early nor notice it's not the second notice it's not the third notice it's the it's here notice it's the within 24 to 48 hours notice kind of a thing it's it's the major warning so things are absolutely making their big changes and shifts at the moment so you know, we still have time, though, because most people still don't get the message. Most people still aren't getting the memo and aren't doing anything to set themselves up. And most people, you know, even when they knew a year ago or two years ago or five years ago, or me, I knew like in 30 years ago. But if you <laughs> and you didn't start setting yourself up when you first knew, like some of us who knew a long time ago started setting ourselves up way in advance and are like, oh, my God, when? Oh, my God, this is so long. Other people are like, eh. It's the world will take care of me. You know, I'm, a lot of people are just too indolent to take the action on their own behalf and will not take responsibility for themselves. And sorry, wouldn't want to be yet. That's all I can say. Anyway, for that, you really think of this as the last opportunity to really get it together. All right. And, you know, don't piss it away. <laughs> That's all I can say. I know that people who are following me don't really need to hear that, but there are people here, you know, who are tourists in every piece of information, don't really take responsibility for themselves. And this is an opportunity for people to know this is the time to take responsibility for yourself. The ones who do will be the winners in the coming times. I provide information, not decision making, right? I provide what I believe is the best information available on the planet from anybody. That's what I believe. Now, there may be somebody, I don't know, but that is, I truly believe that I, I know that I have something so unique that no one else can do exactly what I do, right? So that is why I do what I do because no one else can fill this corner. So if you want more, if you want the specifics, if you want price targets, if you want things like that, the you can join the membership. The link is in the description box below. And of course, we need to do a quick pop in and look at the crypto charts. So of course, as you can see, Bitcoin has made a pretty significant pullback. I mean, it started dropping. It made a major, major drop when the bombing was going on in Iran. Um, and it came down just below, as you can see, this previous low over here, which happened on March 19th. So it, and that's where I drew this little green line. And as you can see, this uh, candle wick here came, which, you know, was exactly when I was doing my member call, actually. So this came down right here to below that. OK. And uh, so the question is, are we done? You know, are we now going to turn around and crash and all of that? Well, mm, you know, I don't think market the market, I feel like bottom line, long term crypto is still going to go up, right? We're still getting, we're still in a bull run on crypto. There will be giant moves up and down in the meantime. 
So that I do talk about in the members area. But, you know, we hit this green line. We, um, this lower green line here. And, you know, remember this level down here, 50,000, is a psychological marker, right, for the, for the market. So, you know, could we come back there? It's possible. Um, so there are some lower levels that are possible, including right here, right here, which is around, you know, 53,000. Um, but those aren't really my exact levels for members, but they are good to know, right? They're good to know that these are the potentials. And as you can see on the RSI down here with oversold, overbought, we got very oversold over here when we had this wick down and it came down so far. So, you know, that's obviously with day traders, that would be a good time to buy. Some people can trade the RSI, buy and sell, buy and sell just on the RSI. But if you're doing that kind of small term, short, you know, time frame trading, which would be by short time frame, I don't mean days or hours or minutes. I mean, like every couple of days, every, you know, few weeks, as you can see when the RSI comes down right here, it's down below that line on April second it came below then it went up above over here on um, april 8th so that would have been a trade right there and then here's another one here on april 13th so like you know maybe a couple times a week but sometimes you have weeks and weeks where nothing happens so that's what trading the rsi is what i focus on for members is the big stuff the swing trades the tops and bottoms of the markets sometimes some of the big pivot points with with points within the major waves but in general you can go down and look actually you can go look in the description box below at the my trading view i did a a four minute video which is all the correct calls i did in 2023 so you can see the kind of information i give to members okay so you can see that i hit all these major points i do not talk about day trading that is not my thing it's swing trading i just give information i don't tell people how to trade anything like that but i do go into altcoins and talk about when the time frames are for peaks on the market and things like that so of course i'm not a financial advisor none of this is financial advice it's all i provide information learning that sort of thing i have a partner i work with for buying and selling cryptocurrency which is a safer way to do it so here's a little message about them also if you're looking for a good place to trade your crypto right a place that is safer than the exchanges which are you know, going to get raided. Better to work, in my opinion, with a brokerage. And I've partnered with Caleb and Brown, and I'll show you their site. Caleb and Brown, they are the oldest, most respected, well-known brokerage firm in the crypto industry. They're in Australia. All of their coins, everything that you put in there, into their, into your brokerage account, is backed, insured one-to-one. -one. So if anything was to happen, you would get exactly all your cryptos back, they would be insured. They're covered by insurance. So that is better actually than a crypto wallet, right? Your crypto wallets don't insure you. And Caleb and Brown does. So if you want to open an account there and they have a really good wide variety of crypto coins that, that you can buy through them, they do not have everything. There are certain things that I would have to take money out or stablecoin out and buy somewhere else and then keep somewhere else if I was to do it through Caleb and Brown. But they are a good place to put your money into the market and to buy cryptos or to get stablecoins. And if you use my name, Aura Right, you can see it right there, AuraWright.media is my website. If you give them my name, A-U-R-A, they will give you a discount on fees. And they usually have 5% fees and your discounted fee will be three and a half, which may sound like a lot, except you don't know how big of a fee the, those exchanges are actually taking on the spread when they convert cryptocurrencies. They're getting their three and a half percent, believe me, over there. It's not cheaper on exchanges, even though you don't see it. So it's very straightforward, very transparent. Whatever you do with them is very transparent and they put out good information. They will give you alerts about what's going on in the market when it's important and things like that. So I've worked with them for a couple of years. They're a great, great resource and one of the most stable things in the cryptocurrency industry. So go on over there and open an account. I work with Jake if you want to talk to him and that's uh, it's a great resource and they um, you're your crypto is secured there and they may even be a place where you could take money out of a 401k. I don't know about that, but I would talk to them if that's something you're trying to do. It's a more official, like sort of like they've jumped all the hoops. They went through all the hoops in order to be above board and operating within the law 
early on in this industry. So they are now well established and well, you know, provide a really good resource for you guys. So that would be my recommendation if you are looking for a place to either put your coins or to trade coins or to open and put fiat currency into the market and also place where you could take profits later on, right? Um, okay, so that's a resource for you guys that I highly, highly recommend you look into. That's my message for you guys this week. I wish you a beautiful, safe and happy week and, you know, connect up with those people who are soul tribe, right? Who are of the light, who are bringing something, who are giving kind people, who are part of the solution, because that is who my membership is. That is who is in my membership, is the people who are here to be the leaders of the future, here to build the solutions. So having said that, I wish you all the best. Namaste. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.